Welcome back guys to the Minecraft Military Force. Today we are building the South African G6. This is a self-propelled howitzer manufactured by Littleton Engineering Works, now Danel Land Systems. And this entered service during the last two years of the South African border war with Namibia and I believe Angola. And I have two different liveries. I'll be showing you how to make the camouflage one, which looks like this. You can use for the South African army. And then also it comes in like this tan plain color one. So this is what it looks like pretty much. It has a pretty unique design with a little cockpit here. In the front, it also is uh, mine resistant. South Africans were the pioneers of mine resistant vehicles, which led up to the MRAP in fact. Um, so this is one of their vehicles and it's armed with a 155 G5 howitzer. And this would angle up in the air and act as artillery. As you can see, it has six wheels and the first wheel is kind of exposed a bit in the front. And then here's the turret. Smoke grenade launchers on the sides. And then here we got two hatches like that. They're kind of staggered. Little basket thing in the middle. Antenna, tail lights, and there's a ladder on the right hand side. There's also these tiny little windows right there. And this video is made possible by Exalted Elf. So thanks to him for commissioning this build. A lot of people do think I retired from tutorials, but I only said I will stop tutorials after I finish the Nimitz carrier, which is still under construction right there. So until then you can still commission some builds, but yeah, let's get started. So let's grab some materials. We're gonna take out a dark prism marine stairs, birch stairs, birch trap door, Warp trap door, polished blackstone brick stairs, mud brick wall, stripped birch wood, I guess dark prismarine slab. So first off, let's make the front wheels. That's just going to be this uh, two by two of polished blackstone brick stairs. And then we're going to skip three blocks in the middle and add in another wheel here. So we got our front pair. All right, next up we'll add in mud brick wall. Two blocks wide on the top half on the inside of that, both sides. Then we'll add in stripped birch wood and we're gonna make it three blocks long. One, two, three, same thing on the other side. And then we can fill in the middle part as well. And then next up we'll add in mud brick walls, two blocks long, both sides. Strip birch wood inside. And then strip birch wood, three blocks wide. And then two more mud brick walls, both sides, strip wood inside, and then a row of stripped birch wood. Then we'll add next to um, the mud brick walls, it's gonna be wheels. So these are the rear wheels. I believe there's actually like a stabilizer that comes with it, that comes down, but I don't think I added this. In this build, we have it built the firing position one. All right. But if you want to do that, you can. All right, so once you have all the wheels, it looks like this. This is our chassis. All right, in the back, we'll add in a birch stairs right in the middle. Dark prismarine stairs on the right-hand side of it. And we'll need this mud brick stairs on either side of this and dark prismarine stairs on the left. Then we'll add in strip birch wood, two blocks wide here, then one here in the corner, then dark prismarine slab right there, and then dark prismarine stairs right next to that. All right, then let's uh, move over here, add in a uh, strip birch wood, so it sticks out like this. And then over here, strip birch wood here in the middle, and then in the front, we'll add in three blocks wide, strip birch wood like this. And the middle part is going to be a birch stairs and then dark prismarine stairs on the left, birch stairs again here. And the other side is going to be dark prismarine slab and dark prismarine stairs. Then in the front corners, we'll add in birch trap doors. Then down below, we'll add in a warp trap door here and then birch trap doors all the way across. Then we'll add in a mossy cobblestone wall right here, little nook. And the other side is going to be a sandstone wall, so one right here, and another one top here. 
a mud brick wall right here and upside down mud brick stairs right there and the inside of this is going to be packed mud so add one right there on the inside sandstone wall right here it's a bit chaotic sorry for that because <laughs> it is a camouflage design and then we'll add in birch slabs uh, two blocks long here strip birch wood in the inside of this and it's going to be a sandstone wall inside there this back part will add in sandstone wall here and then we'll add in two strip birch woods inside here upside down birch stairs and then we'll need these two mud brick slabs here another mud brick slab here and a mud brick block here. Then it's gonna be this warped plank right there. And dark prison marine stairs upside down right here. Another one right there. All right, next up we'll add in strip birch wood inside here and behind these walls. Also inside of this. And then a mud brick block here. And a mud brick stairs upside down the other side. And spruce pressure plates on either side of the middle. And brush trap door here. Another one on the other side. And then inside here, a strip birch wood here. I guess two blocks long. And the side part, we'll add dark prismarine slab. Another one right here. And then dark prismarine stairs right there. All right, then on this side, we're gonna go down here, upside down, birch stairs, and then a birch sign to the side of this. Um, and we'll need a birch plank up here, dark prismarine slab, and then a birch slab here, and then a stripped birch wood here, dark prismarine slab, birch slab, upside down, Dark prismarine stairs. Uh, warp fence gate here, open that up. And the other side, we'll add in a birch fence gate here, open that up. Another one down here, open that up towards the back. And the inside part of this, we'll need to add in sandstone uh, wall. So it's adjacent to the other ones, and then strip birch wood next to that next to these walls like that and fill in this little back section I guess and that should be actually this inside part it be packed mud on the right like that all right and then over here we'll add in um, this mud brick block here and we'll need a cobstone wall right here and on top, we'll add in a birch pressure plate, two blocks long. Other side, another one here. And we'll need to add in a birch fence gates, top of this mud brick. Open it up, other side, same thing. All right, and then we'll add in a dark prismarine block here. I guess for now, two blocks long. A packed mud, top of this. A strip birch wood here, two blocks long, and then a dark prismarine slab, two blocks long, and we'll need a birch slab, and then dark prismarine slab, a mud brick slab, birch slab, mud brick slab, on the edge birch trap door, and then skip a block spruce trap door right there. And then we'll make the cockpit. That's going to be uh, polished black stone stairs in the middle with dark oak fence gates on either side. Open it up towards the inside. And the center, we can add in a warp pressure plate with a spruce pressure plate to the side. Then over here, uh, we're going to add in another dark prismarine block there. And then a spruce trap door top of this mud. With uh, spruce fence gate, open that up towards the back. And a warp trapdoor right there. 
All right, next up, we'll add in a birch stairs facing outwards here. Dark prismarine stairs other side, doing the same thing. And then birch stairs facing the front and dark prismarine stairs facing the front. Top of this, we'll add in a birch slab and then dark prismarine slab to the side of that. Then we'll add in a mud brick slab, Just two blocks long. And then a birch stairs facing that way and dark prismarine stairs on the side of that. And then we'll add in birch fence gates, two of them here facing towards each other. Underneath it, we'll add in uh, stripped birch wood followed by dark prismarine block. Then we'll add in birch stairs. So we want to add in that's cornered like this. And then mud brick stairs on the outer edge of it. So it makes a square shape like this. Next up, uh, dark prismarine stairs right there. Then two strip birch woods. And then strip wood on the inside of this part. Upside down, dark prismarine stairs right there. And then in the back, we can add these walls. It's going to be sandstone walls in the middle and the outer edges. Then a mossy cobblestone wall and a mud brick wall. The inside part looks to be three strip birch woods. And I think so fill that in birch wood. And then there's actually going to be a packed mud right here. And then dark prismarine block here, and then strip birch wood right there. Then a packed mud on the outside part here. Mud brick slab. And then two dark prismarine slabs right there. And we'll need to add a ladder to the side of this. And upside down dark prismarine stairs right there. And we'll take out some trap doors. So first birch trap door. We're going to add one right here, other side, we'll add one here, corners, and then we'll add in a warped trap door here, the other side, warped trap door, and then spruce trap door, spruce trap door right there. Then we'll add dark prismarine slab here, and a birch slab. We'll add another birch slab here. And then a mud brick slab. Then it's going to be a packed mud inside here. And a dark prismine slab. Now for the antenna, that's going to be a chain and iron bars. So put that inside. One chain and then two iron bars stacked on top of each other. And then we'll go down below, add in a spruce trap door here, and then a birch trap door. Other side, same thing, spruce trap door, birch trap door, like that. And then we'll add in birch trap door underneath this part here on both sides. All right, next up, we'll need to change this part here, dark prismarine block. And we'll also add a birch sign to the side of this. And then two black stone buttons right there. Alright, so yeah, that should be pretty much it on how to make the G6 Rhino. Special thanks to Exalted Elf for commissioning this build and making this video possible. This was definitely a complicated tutorial even though it's a small build. Just all the different camouflage, it just adds to the complexity. But yeah, I hope you guys managed to actually build it. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, check out our Discord, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.